Reborn here. Are you ready for some fun? Come on! Join us now for the ABC Weekend Special! Take off that baseball shirt, Con Sawyer. You're not going anywhere. But the playoffs are today. You played hooky with your friend Huck to sneak into a rock concert, and if you think I'm going to let that slide, you're mistaken. Yeah, but we only skipped one class. And... Guys, we didn't sneak in. You know, we talked our way in. Sorry, Con. But you're going to have to clean up the yard, front and back, which you were supposed to do last week. My real father wouldn't be so strict. Well, Con, now, you shouldn't talk like that. It's okay, Pamela. Con and I just need to get to know each other a little better. To respect each other a little better. You always get the trouble, but I know too. Yes, and that's why you say boring things. Charles, making Con miss the playoffs does seem a little harsh. Pamela, you're right. Of course you can go to the game. I can? Yes. Maybe? After you mow the front yard, rake the leaves, trim the hedges, and clean up the backyard. Charlie. Enough said. Got to get to the auction house. I've got a lot of valuable antiques coming in today. Hope they break. I'm sorry, honey. But after all, you did cut school. And I'm sure Huck isn't getting off any easier. Bye bye. Want to? and you're dead, punk. Okay. Oh. Hi, Josie. Hi, Con. Too bad you have to go and play baseball. I'm having more fun here. Oh, come on. You don't mean you really like mowing the lawn. Like it? Why wouldn't I? I can play baseball anytime. But it's not every day I get to card my initials in the grass. Yeah, sure thing. Step aside, Josie. There's some artists at work here. Right, Con. See ya. Boy, I'm so glad I don't have to spend another whole Saturday at the same old park. <laughs> hey, can I try before I go? No! My parents would kill me. They're real particular about the lawn. I'll give you a bite of my apple. Sorry, Josie. You're just not the lawn type. 
Can I do the backyard too, please? I'll lend you my Walkman and my new tape. It's like totally awesome. Uh, no, no. Please? Piece of plastic. It's brand new. All right. Oh, wow, thanks. What, what should I do? Back push. Oh, sick. Look what I found in the driveway. <gasps> oh, that's my sister's. It goes right in her room, right on her pillow. Still got your harmonica? Yeah, why? Make you a good deal. <laughs> Don't try to con me. I wasn't trying to con you. You're my best friend. I just didn't want you to miss out on any of the fun. Uh-oh. What's the matter? I've got to talk to you. Make your secret. Mm -hmm. Shoot. What is it? You see? Hey, we've really got to go. Ten minutes to the game. I miss you, too. Mm. How are you going to be here for? Well, we just put in for repairs, so uh, i got to be back to Delta Queen in an hour. But you'll miss the playoffs. Well, uh, maybe I could hang around and um, cheer for an inning or two. Hmm? Wait till you see my friend, Huck. Now, she's a real good hitter. Oh, is this the famous Huck you've been writing to me about? Hamster, I mean, Captain Sawyer. Hi. Oh, look what I have here for you. Oh. oh, Daddy, it's beautiful. Yeah, you know what that is? That is a real genuine coral necklace that came from a sunken volcanic island in the South Seas, thousands of miles from here. It might have even been worn by a uh, native princess. Oh, thank you, Daddy. It's beautiful. So where am I going to put it? Where'd you get all this stuff here? Oh, me and my friends kind of had a swap meet. Swap's right. She swapped them right into doing her yard work. <laughs> yeah. Well, Khan was always an expert at uh, conning other people into doing things for her, just like that other Sawyer. What other Sawyer? Well, what other Sawyer? Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer. You should read more, honey. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. I could be related to Tom Sawyer. After these messages, we'll be right back. Yeah. Presenting Ronald on Vacation. Here we go. Where to first, Ronald? How about the Umpire State Building? Strike three to Europe. Mm, nice pitch. And on to the awful tower. I was six, afraid of seven. Because seven, eight, nine. Go. That is awful. <laughs> and across the Red Sea to the Florida Keys. We're almost home. We saw everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah. I'll fix that. Whoa. Now we've seen the kitchen sink. We do believe in magic. Salutations! We're in Seattle, Washington. To see what Kellogg's Rice Krispies are saying. Yeah, let's go. Mine say, Cow Buns, we're drowning in milk. Mine says, Maximize Gel Time. It says, Scarf City. Focus on Kellogg's Rice Krispies. The talkative part of this complete breakfast. Because my friends think I'm the coolest. No! Oh, what do your Rice Krispies say? It says goodbye. There's nothing more to say. Who knows where we'll be next? Yeah, who knows? Oh, wow. Whoa. Now, back to our story.
great catch, huh? Ah, uh, no big deal, partner. Ah! Uh, Who's that? I don't know. Ah! Uh, hey! Social worker. You should really get on to me for cutting class. Ah! Uh, that? Uh, but, but she's your biggest fan. But she won't like my plan. What plan? You were terrific in the game. Yeah, well, um, I like this song. Yeah, and rock concerts. Pop, there's something that we should talk about, something very important. Yeah, well, um, can we talk later? I've got a team meeting. All right, but call me this afternoon. Yeah. It's important. Cool game, ladies! <laughs> okay, catch you later. Okay. Hi, Bobby. Okay. I've got to talk to you. Let's not get over something. What is it? Sarah says I have to change foster home. And I can't go through that again. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to run away. Uh, uh, but, Huck, you can't do that. Huck, How far do you think that'll take you? My plan is to cruise down the Mississippi, you know, all the way to New Orleans, and then to the Gulf of Mexico. Maybe out the South Seas. Who knows? Okay, so it's not working out with the Wilsons. But you still have to run away. It's just not working out for me anymore. And besides, I want to get out through the world. What are you going to do about food? Well, I've got some stuff in there, and I can fish. Looks like you've done a lot of planning. How much money do you have? Two dollars and fifteen cents. Oh, Hawk. That won't get you as far as Memphis. Look, you're gonna need a lot more money. And as a good friend, I'll help you out. Great. How much can you loan me? Well, I don't have a lot, but my stepfather, you know, he has that auction house. I bet if we went over there and polished some of the silver, you know, He'd probably pay us twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? To make that much could take days. Are you trying to put off my trip? Tell me? No way. I wish I could go. Well then why don't you? I would, but you see my stepfather, you know how protective he is? Boy, he'd send the FBI, the CIA, and the IRS to get us. Let's go through the back. I'll give you a tour. I don't want a tour. <sighs> Dusty. So old in here. Watch your step. Oh, don't worry. He's fake. You know, this was the first snake ever to be found in the early, early 1700s. Oh, Neat, huh? Oh, come on. I've seen snakes before. Get in here, you two. I haven't got all day, you know. Now, I don't want anyone breaking in on this. Did you lock that door? Stop. No, I told Rocco to do it. Oh, that could be my stepfather's partner. Ugh. Stuffy old guy. Here you go, Mr. Skeezer. Oh. Uh, I, I, I apologize, Mr. Skeezer. Rock up, pick that stuff up. Come on, will you? Ah, uh, this diamond tiara was worn on the Duchess of Dorchester's head. It's worth thousands of dollars. That's a lot of money for a hat. Now, let me see the fake. They're not that stupid, the tiara. possibly tell the difference. Well, I could. The one on the left is the fake. How can you tell? Because I just handed it to him. Will you two be serious? Don't you realize we're about to pull off the crime of the century? Maybe we should get the police. Good idea. 
Oh, you do know the plan. Oh, yeah? I have Rocco write it down. Rocco, read it back to him. Come on. We substitute the fakes for the real jewels, and you skeezers sell the real stuff through your connections. After the jewels are sold, then we'll all meet in close cover before striking. Close cover before striking? Where did you get that from? Turn it right here on the match cover. I don't think you two are ready for this. Oh, now listen, Mr. Skeez, I mean, we really know what we're doing here. You know, if anybody gets in our way, me and Rocco, we know how to take care of it, eh, Rocco? <laughs> breakfast thing, right? Not unless you're eating honeycomb. Yeah, listen up. I got something to say. I love this honey sweet taste so much, I can eat it by the handful. You got a problem with that? <laughs> I made your munching honeycomb night in the day. Crave it, honey sweet crunching, eating it every way. What he's trying to say is that he can't eat his honeycomb and talk to you. Right, guy? <laughs> but this is in the shape, tell me that's not cool. Jamming honey sweet taste, you know I'm no fool. Don't you get it? The taste is in the shape. Part of this complete breakfast. Just a cheetah here. I'm a hang loose kitty riding the crest of Surf City. Life's a beach when Cheeto's paws are in reach. Whoa, bro. Check out the surfer girl shooting the girl. Possible. And dig Alfonso going gonzo. Gonna dangle on this wave till I wrangle what I crave. Cheeto's brand paws. The cheese that go wrong. <laughs> I, I, I. Crime. This morning when I woke up, I was so exhausted. <laughs> cool things happen in the morning with the warm taste of Kellogg's Pop Tarts. You're kidding. A complete breakfast? Uh-oh. Now, class, P is for... Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza, for pizza, banana, banana, for pizza, me, my, mo, pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, banana, banana, for pizza, me, my, mo, pizza. Little Caesar. Break it down, yeah. Nothing can beat him, so come on, let's eat him. Now you can get a free toy. Surprise prize at Little Caesars. Free toy at Little Caesars. Come on, everybody. Why does this drug dealer that asked me to sell drugs then? You shouldn't pay no mind to him. Don't say nothing. Just just pay like you don't even know him. Just don't look at him, don't please at him, don't blink at him, don't do nothing. My grandma always says to earn my money. I'm earning it. Well, that's a dirty way of earning your money. Well, my other friends does it. Well, so what? That's your other friends. But that's just not you. You got, you got more sense than the money. Money don't what? matter. Your so life that's... matters. Great. A dead end. Do you have to say the word dead? We better search this place. Okay, Rocco. You take one side, I'll take the other side. Yeah. I don't want to. Why not? I don't like to take sides. Rocco, you know, sometimes you give me a real big headache. Now, come on, follow me. Yeah, yeah. 
Might as well send it back where it came from. My best effort to date. Like we hit something. Wanna check it out? Looks like we hit a couple of logs. Nothing to worry about. Right back. Oh, 
Okay, rumor has it there's a Captain Crunch effect. But what is it? It's big! With that, Captain will test the crunchy part of this balanced breakfast on those choppers. Captain, your observations? If their teeth don't get me, their breath will. Seafood platter. Sharks, go for it, Anne. Satellite, shut down! Oh, what's happening, Captain? Sit up, slap me some fin, bag nice sharky. Yum! The taste tamed the beast. The major crunch effect. This summer, the two toughest characters in cartoon history Tom, Jerry. are teaming up we gotta bust out of here. to save a brave young girl from her wicked ass. They're getting away! They're following us! Get ready for action. Get ready for fun. Hello, all you happy people. Get ready for Tom and Jerry, the movie rated G. Starts Friday at a theater near you. What's making these watermelons wiggle? New watermelon jello! Wiggle, wiggle, jello! These watermelon wiggle! Now all the cool fruity taste of watermelon is in new jello watermelon gelatin! Reborn here. I've got a great suggestion for fun that's out of sight. Get the family together for a family reading night. Turn Grandma in to Captain Hook. Let Dad play Gun again. Get your favorite book, give out the points, and let the fun begin. It's hilarious. <laughs> and it's easy. And it's great for any weather. Read a book tonight. You'll see I'm right. <laughs> reading is so together. Looking for a couple little girls. Have you seen them? Uh, uh, no, sir. Khan and Huck are lost to the world. Everyone thinks we're drowned. And on the run from <gasps> danger. Huck, they're coming this way. <laughs> it's the exciting conclusion of the adventures of Khan Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Sonic the Hedgehog here. This is the city, and on each street, you'll be surprised what you'll find and the kids that you'll meet. City Kids Rule, premiering Saturday morning this fall on ABC. Check it out. There's no stopping them now. Okay, you asked for it. Land of the Lost. <laughs> Dinosaur Summer. 